Hello and welcome. Before you watch this video, please pause it and try it on your own. Then resume the video when you're ready to compare. Okay, so I start these off by um, just reading them, obviously. Let's read through together. Christopher looked at his quiz scores shown below for the first and second semesters, semester one and semester two, of his algebra class. How convenient. Here we are studying for algebra. So um, before I even look at the numbers, I'm going to find out what they're looking for. Which statement about Christopher's performance is correct? So the first uh, option talks about something called the interquartile range, and it compares them. So that's one thing we're going to find out. Notice I don't even really read the rest of it because I know we're just going to need to find the interquartile range first, then that question will be easier to solve. The median, we have to find the mean, and the third quartiles, right? So here, um, you, we can look at the data and infer the answer, probably, but I want to be precise about it. So let's just do a quick lesson on what these things are, and then we'll come back and solve the problem. So let's make up a data set and use that for comparison. So let's say we have, uh, I'll change colors here, let's say we have the numbers 2, 3, 3, 4, 6, 8, and 9. And that's our data set. And then I have another data set with one more data value. 2, 3, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, and another 9. So maybe these are quiz scores uh, out of 10 or something. Um, and I'll put commas between them, just, just so we know that we have separate values, right? So in this data set, the mean is the sum of all the numbers divided by the amount of the numbers, right? So the mean, we just add all these numbers up. In this case, we divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And in this case, we just divide our sum by 8, because there are 8 numbers. Um, so that's how you find the mean. You add and divide by the amount of numbers. The median is the number in the middle um, when the numbers are in ascending order. So here they are in ascending order. 4 is the number in the middle. That's our median. We call that the second quartile, Q2, for second quartile, um, or median, right here. Now when you have an odd amount of numbers, 7 in, in this case, there will always be one number directly in the middle. When you have an even amount of numbers, uh, you don't have any direct number in the middle. Here we have both 4 and 6. So that means, and I'll write this in green, 5.5, not 5.5, sorry, 5, the average of 4 and 6, the mean of 4 and 6, is your median. So I just did 4 plus 6 divided by 2. So you can always add those two numbers and divide by 2 to find the median between them. So this is, um, in both cases, how we can find the second quartile. Now the first quartile is the median of your lower half of your data. So in this case, we have three data points in our lower half. And the third quartile is the middle number of the upper half of your data, right? So we have lower halves and upper halves. Um, so in the first case, three is in the middle of our lower set. That's our first quartile. So it's, the first quartile is like the median of the first half. And the third quartile is the median of our second half of data. And here in the second case, uh, again, we have no number directly in between, um, in the middle, so we average or find the mean of the two numbers closest to the middle. In this case, 3 plus 3 divided by 2 is still, of course, 3. So 3 would be our first quartile. And here, the, the third quartile is 8 and a half, right? 9 plus 8 divided by 2 is our third quartile. Now, in the cases where we're adding the numbers here in the bottom, uh, the first quartile, second quartile, and third quartile, we're not adding 8.5 or 5 or 3 to our data set. Those numbers are the boundaries um, that represent where the medians would be. So just to clarify, it's not like we added three new data points to our set. We're just saying that the quartiles um, separate our data. And the quartiles are at 3 and 5 and 8.5. And now the interquartile range uses this idea. And the interquartile range is simply, um, you can write IQR if you, if you want. IQR, the interquartile range, if you think about the word as saying, it's the range between the quartiles, specifically the third quartile minus the first quartile. So what would our interquartile ranges be here? Well, in this, this case, it would be 8.5 minus 3, which is 5.5. And, and then in the other case here would be 8 minus 3, or 5. So that's how we find our IQRs in both cases. So all these things are related, uh, mean, median, quartiles, let's, let's find out what's happening. So in our data sets, I'm going to rewrite them in ascending order. 
uh, I'm going to cross them out as I find them. 77 is the smallest number here. Then it goes up to 80. Right? Then it goes to 85 and then 88. And then 91, 92, 96. 91. Oops. 91, 92, and 96. Now in the other uh, semester, we have a smallest value of 78. Then 88, nope, sorry, 83. Then 88, then 91, then 94. So we rearrange these into ascending order. Oops. That's going to help us. So now we can find our mean, median, quartiles, and so forth. Here we have um, five data points. So our second quartile for the first data set, our Q2, is 88. Here we have 3, 6, 7 as well. So we have a number right in the middle. It's 88 as well. So in both, court, in re, in both uh, semesters, the median is the same. Score that, that choice. The median score for semester one is greater than the median score for semester two. No, that's not true. Now we, let's go to quartiles. Here, the first quartile is 80, right, in our second semester, Q1. And here, there's no number directly in the middle, right, so we average 83 plus 78 divided by 2. That would be our first quartile, right? Q1 would be the boundary here. So 83 plus 78, that is 161, yes. Divided by 2 is 80.5. So our first quartile is 80.5. Here, the first quartile is 80. Over here, the third quartile, 91 plus 94 is 185, right? Divided by two would be our third quartile. So that's 92.5. And here, the third quartile is 92. That's our Q3. Let's see what they say about the third quartiles. The third quartile for semester two is greater than the third quartile for semester one. No, that's not true. The interquartile range, let's find that next. Um, all right, so in the first one, it's right over here. 92.5 minus 80.5, right? And what's that? Well, that's just 12, right? So our IQR is 12 in the first case. And the second case, 92 minus 80 is also 12. So the interquartile ranges are the same. So the interquartile range for semester one is greater than the interquartile, uh, that's not true. So the correct answer is that the mean for score for semester two is greater than the mean score for semester one. We could add it and divide to confirm that, but that's exactly what we'll find. All right, thanks.